Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Kerbal Space Program. Oh my god, we're back, everyone. We're back. The Ronin Pawn has returned to KSPOMG. Let's get right in. Let's jump right in. We're going to start a new career mode series. And what is this new career mode series going to be called? Well, what do you think it's going to be called? It's going to be called New Pan Panny. Panini. New Panini. No, it's going to be called New Pornington. Yes, welcome back. And let's get a flag for New Pornington. I think the Ronin Porn logo will suit us quite well. Do you want to overwrite that? Yes, I do. It's not the first time I've tried to record the video, in case you were wondering. So, apparently, last time when I put the, the Space Center into Mothballs, when I shut everything down and laid all the Kerbals off, a few of them, okay, broke into the VAB and stole all the rocketry equipment. And um, the deal is Rockamax's check has not come in the mail yet. Rockamax is going to be funding uh, this KSP program. Um, yeah, we, we don't have anything to build rockets with. And, okay, another problem. The Kerbals, the disgruntled Kerbals, seem to have stockpiled trash in the VAB. I think that was their way of getting back at me, laying them all off. So, so we had some problems. Here's how we sorted it out. I figured instead of having two problems, let's have one solution take the trash and make new science equipment out of it. So we're going to be starting out with, uh, you know, just, we're, we're, it's, it's makeshift, you know, we're, we're, we're making do here. I've had the boys in the R&D in the department um, rig this little unit up with a um, probe core. So this is um, barbecue grill. There's a probe core in there, trust me, trust me. The disgruntled Kerbals left us some old broken down frigid airs. So, um, so yeah. It's, it's, it's makeshift, okay? I, 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 you know, realize it's makeshift. This was left over from before I ended our, our KSP series. This was, um, from an accident that I didn't tell you guys about in the first place. It was, um, there was some bloke having a fag. He was smoking a cigarette next to liquid fuel, and, um, don't smoke, kids, because this is what happens. And, uh, it blew, and several Kerbals died. It's okay, we just cloned them. This is kind of a prototype. We're not going to be using it today. This is a, um, this is a, well, it's a fire extinguisher. You know, it, it's, it's, it's nice, it's nice. You know what, maybe we could use this today. Is this an engine? Does this count as an engine? How do, how do you, how do you place this? Because the thing is, I've noticed, okay, look at this. This has liquid fuel. It has its own liquid fuel and oxidizers stored in it. Apparently the, the R&D department came up with that. I'm very proud of them for coming up with that. First off, let's go ahead and throw our um, decoupler in. Okay, so that's, that's, yeah, now that, they, they, the Kerbals, the disgruntled Kerbals didn't leave that behind. I had to go to the parking lot and, and kind of gank that out of, um, out of a fella's back of his pickup truck. So, sorry fella, out of, out of the back of your pickup truck. Um, can I now attach this to something? Please, let me attach it to something. No, I mean, I can, but it's, it's, it's colliding. It's, it's passing through the mesh. Look, there. Now it's in there somewhere. No, it's not in there somewhere. How do I get this on to a, onto a connection point? Does it have a connection point? How do, how do we do this? Okay, well there, there we, uh, that, that doesn't seem to make any sense, but okay. Yes, here. If I put this down here, so wait, is that going to be, is that going to thrust in this direction? That's going to be a little wonky, but what the hell? We'll throw it on there, we'll see what it does. Excuse me, Mr. Scientist Man down there? Cardboard, probably not good for space travel. Just, 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 just letting you know. We do need parachutes, and apparently we're going to be making do with um, some, some trash bags. That's what that is. Those are, those are rubbish liners, rubbish bin liners. Um... You know, I think that'll work as a parachute. You just attach some bungee cables to it or something like that. I trust, I trust my R&D department, okay? They probably know mostly what, what they're doing. This is going to be the Rubbish Mark 1, okay? Yes, Rubbish Mark 1, and we're just, we're just making do with, you know, with what, what, what they gives us. Spelling. Okay, uh, that's good. Save the craft and launch. Just so you know, we won't always be making do. I mean, I'm just waiting for the check to come in from Rockamax, and Debbie over at Scott's office says that the check is in the mail. It was mailed, so it's just got to come in, and then I can I can go out and buy us some um, some decent rocketry equipment. But for now, you know, we, we're just getting by. We're just getting by. I need to I need to brush up on my skills. It's been a while since I've since I've played KSP, so it's good to just make sure that you still know how to go up and come down. Um, so let's. Let's try that. Let's actually try and 
go up and come down. I don't know if there's any SAS on this little thing, but let's let's give it a go, and we'll, um... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Is this going to fly at all? I think I need a second opinion. Where can I get a second opinion? Oh, I know. Hello, Houston, are you in the tower? Yeah, Vaughn, what's up? Oh my god, Houston! Oh, thank god, Houston's back. There he is, he's over in the tower. Hello, Houston, can you see me over here? Could you wave? Yeah, I'm waving right now, do you see me? N no not at all. Do you see me now? No. How about now? Yes, yes, I see you, I see you now. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, do you need a countdown point? Yes, I do need a countdown. This is going to be our, um, first flight of the Rubbish Mark 1, so... So yes, give us our first countdown in New Bornington. Liftoff of the Rubbish Mark 1 in 3, 2, 1. Thank you so much, Houston. It's lovely to be working with you again. Yeah, rock on, Ronan Vaughn. Okay, wow. Okay, well this is this is getting us some height, and apparently we're already breaking the sound barrier. So that's 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 good. Um going a little fast, going a little bit too fast actually. Um wasting our few oh screw it. It's a lightweight craft. Let's just fire it up there and see how far it gets. Um before we lose all this weight, I'm going to drop that and Oh my god! Oh my oh shoot, I forgot to stage it. I I maybe maybe I maybe forgot to stage it. Houston, um can you, can you give us another countdown, love? Because I, I think I might have balls this up. Yeah, no problem, Pawn. I'm used to it. Hey, hey, Houston. Let's not, let's not get on each other's case already. I'm just getting back to it, okay? I'm rusty. I'm rusty, I am. Yeah, I can see that from here. Okay, shut up, Houston. Just shut up. Um, so how are we going to do this? We're going to detach and then, and then fire that second rocket. I wasn't expecting, it's experimental technology. I wasn't really thinking about it. But okay, now we're properly staged. Houston, can we have a countdown? In three, two, one, fire. And we're away again. Okay, and I'm just, I'm not going to control my speed. I'm just going to let it fly right up as fast as it possibly can. Oh my god, the sound barrier is, it's, it's very loud down here under the, under the sound barrier. You've got to be very careful not to, not to go down there. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, let's, let's just, let's just stay up here where we don't have our eardrums blown off. Okay, we've lost that stage, let's fire the next stage. How long is this going to last on liquid fuel? Wow. Wow, that's gonna last a long time, and we it's definitely taken a, um, taken a hit off of, you know, it's taken a bit off of our, our loss of Delta V by running that. That's great. Wow, that's very, very efficient for, you know, for a, um, <clears throat> for a fire extinguisher duct taped to the bottom of a, of a patio grill. It's very efficient. Absolutely, that's working wonderfully. Wow, we how much height are we going to get out of this? We just might make it past uh, the 9 kilometer. I might have to make a turnover here. <laughs> it's very lightweight lightweight craft as well. Jeez, look at this. Look at this, everyone. I'm really surprised. I did not think that this was going to break the 10 kilometer mark, and clearly we are going to break the 10 kilometer mark. And if I had controlled my burn a little bit more, not wasted my fuel um, pushing through the sound barrier, um, immediately, then we might have actually made frickin' orbit with it. Uh, probably not that, but... Okay, let's go ahead and turn over a bit. I mean, why not? Why not? Who knows? Who knows? I know. It's not going to make orbit, but we could we could make some good height with this. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. You know what I'm using right now? Okay, I've got a number of mods installed. This, by the way, is Bargain Rockets. So this is the Bargain Rockets mod. If you can't afford better rocketry than this, then, you know, this'll do. This'll do. So we've got Bargain Rockets, we've got environmental visual enhancements, giving us the clouds and as well as city lights, um, which we'll see when we, if we ever do actually make orbit. I cannot believe that we're going to make 16 kilometers and actually pass 16 kilometers with this little craft. This is wild. Let's go ahead and physics warp up and see just how far this craft actually makes it. We're... okay, there. There. We made it to 17 kilometers, more or less. Good, good lord. I'm, I'm really surprised at that. That's, that's great. That worked out very well. I'm gonna turn SAS off and physics warp us back down to the surface of Kerbin and test our trash bag parachute system. Um... <laughs> It's, it's, you know, it's, it's what we can do. It's what we've got. It's, it's, it's what we have to work with, and we're not ashamed. Oh, shoot, I'm gonna get this thing wet, aren't I? Well, that's, that's okay, that's good. It makes for a softer landing to get it wet, and it's gonna be a very lightweight craft. Let's go ahead and pop our chute at about one kilometer. There we go, and the trash bag is away. Um, how's, how's it doing? Oh, good. 
Oh, yes, lovely. That held well. That must be a hefty bag, because that, that held very, very well. Let's just get back down to the surface, collect this craft, and see what the next craft, see what, see what the boys in the R&D department can come up with out of the rest of the refuse that was left for us piled high in the VAB. Come on, come on, down now, down. I want you wet, I want you wet, I want you wet. Oh, don't say that like that, Paul. And a little bouncy bounce. Oh, beautiful, and it stands perfectly upright. Wow, that's... That's almost as though... Oh, no. Hey, hang on. No, you're gonna get the trash bags. Wait, you're gonna get the... <sighs> That's science technology. You can't be wasting that. All right, so we went up and we came down, and that's, you know, that's a good thing for science. We got five science out of that. Let's go over to the R&D Center and see what the boys have come up with us, uh, come up with for us. Uh, looks like we're going to have a, a styrofoam cup on a string. It's gonna be our antenna. We've got a clock. Um... Someone just must have thrown out a clock. I don't know why they handed me a clock. Another decoupler in the form of a truck tire. Um, it's a lava lamp. That's a nice decoration, I suppose. Um, smaller liquid engine. That's going to be nice. Seems to be made out of a bell and an inner tube. That's awesome. And a potato with wires jutting out of it as a battery. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly what I had in mind. Excellent. Let's head back to the VAB and see what we can make out of potatoes and inner tubes.